Looks like acclaimed Oscar-winning director Martin Scorsese has finalized funding for his upcoming film Silence through investors Fabrica de Cine and Sharp Sword Films. The movie is based on the novel by Shusaka Endo and is about a 17th century Portuguese Jesuit priest who is tasked with taking Christianity to Japan. The film stars Liam Neeson, Andrew Garfield, and Adam Driver and will, be will begin production at the end of the month. Mary, buy or sell this news. Uh, I'm going to buy and sell this. I'm going to buy the fact that this is his passion project. He's wanted to make this for 20 years. He's got a great cast attached. I'm excited to see Liam Neeson not punch wolves and fight bad guys <laughs> for a minute because he's such a wonderful actor, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I, I'm going to sell the fact that it says something bigger about the industry when an Oscar-winning, iconic filmmaker of all the ages has to like scrape together financing. I mean, he still had to go to extra sources and independent financiers to finish the movie because the studios looked at it and were like, well, those Jesuit priests in Japan and Christianity might not be like the biggest sell. And it's it's just a little, I don't know, it kind of hurts my heart a little bit that, you know, more risks can't be taken. And I don't blame the studios. They have to make money. I just feel like it's unfortunate that we're in an age where Scorsese <laughs> can't just walk into a room and they'd be like, you know what, we believe in your vision. Like the, the Robert Evans producers of the world, there's kind of a bygone era. So that kind of makes me sad. So I sell that. I'm going to sell it as well for the same reasons because it was on my top 10 most anticipated yeah. list. I don't think it's going to come out in 2015 anymore. No, I don't it's probably think so. 2016. But yeah, a director of Scorsese's caliber coming in. And most of his movies have either made money or at least broken even. So yeah. I, I, he's not a huge, huge risk. But for the fact that. Yeah, it's so hard for him to get money. And yeah. I remember that whole story about Spielberg and Lincoln. It's Spielberg, Daniel Day-Lewis, and it, it was this close to not being It's going to go to HBO. Exactly. <laughs> uh, John? Well, look, I, I, first of all, I buy this news because I'm so thrilled with it. And, and yeah. one of the big reasons I'm thrilled with it is because I believe I have been a big fan of Andrew Garfield yeah. ever since The Social Network. I believe that dude was robbed not only of an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor, he should have won that award that year, and he wasn't even nominated. And I believe in a film like this, in the hands of a director like a Scorsese, I think we're really going to see what this kid is made of, mm -hmm. and maybe I'll find out I'm dead wrong about it. But this will yeah, give us a chance. Right. As far as the thing about Scorsese having to scrape together the financing, I'm actually completely cool with that. There is no director, not even Steven Spielberg, who can just squat over and crap out gold every time they do it. And I think it is the studio's responsibility to look at a, at a film and a project. Because I probably believe for all these films that come out from a Nolan or a Spielberg or a Scorsese, there are probably five or six we don't hear about that studios have to sit back and say, that's a great artistic vision, but, there's, but people will not go to see that. And I think it's healthy for a filmmaker like Scorsese when he's got to get back in the trenches of a, an indie filmmaker in many ways and, and go industry. and fight and scrape and get that funding together for something that is probably not going to have broad market appeal. But I love that he can still do it. So yeah. for those reasons that you guys are selling it, I'm actually buying it for. I'm on, your, I'm on your side, too. Uh, I'm, I'm buying this. Uh, I buy everything about it because I like the fact that he's getting hungry, has to build up the money and do it because guess what? If he does... When he does raise when all the money, does, yeah. makes them. He's got enough friends that are pretty powerful. <laughs> when he gets the movie made, like a Spielberg, it's a fight, it's a struggle. But when he does, and he says, "Hey, remember that movie you guys didn't want to finance? Well, it just but one that of the best." That happened pictures. already with Wolf of Wall Street. Sure, it Red did. Granite and, did all the financing because no studio would touch it. But let it like happen again. Risky. Let it happen again yeah, because it, it's I, because it's Scorsese. And the thing is, look, it's it stinks sometimes that certain filmmakers, especially some of, of Scorsese's caliber, but he's got the power and the name to make it yeah. happen. And look at the names that say, "Yeah, what are you doing? Let's go yeah. with you." <laughs> Liam Neeson, all these guys. So the, the project itself, I, I buy big time because it's Scorsese. Anything the guy does, I will watch and probably love. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as all this stuff, I and I also agree with the, I can see what the studio says. I don't know if we can sell it. It's a business. It's yeah. a business. So if they if this particular studio doesn't feel that they could market this movie and sell this movie, more power to them. However, if Scorsese says, guess what, guys? You blew it. Then like De Niro, <laughs> but you blew it. <laughs> so that's it. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.